my lore in 30 seconds. Um, it's pretty based, honestly. Uh, uh, Elon Musk gets human to Mars. Human have fun at Mars. Human decide want cat girl like animes. Elon Musk make cat girl. Um, and then cat girl kill Elon Musk and the uh, Tesla uprising. Um, <laughs> It's less than 30 seconds, but uh, th there's not much to it. I'm a shapeshifting goddess of many things, including indecision. Uh, I'm buried in endless projects, and I'm currently stuck in a Minecraft world, if that wasn't already obvious. One day, I just stumbled across a computer and figured, hey, I like attention. <laughs> Hi, hello, my name is Akari, and I'm a circus monkey. Well, I used to be a circus monkey before everybody left. But, I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to meet lots of new people and get the circus ready so that whenever they come back, maybe we can start over again. Astronaut, I'm a dude in a spacesuit, and I bounce around and make stupid noises, and I do hee hee ha ha's. And I'm a silly little boy who maybe, I may be human, I may be alien, I may be dead, I may be alive. You don't know. You don't have any right to know. I'm like abstract art. You never get to know. I was just a normal video game cat loving girl. But I saw this download that you can have of a desktop cat. I didn't read the terms and conditions. And instead of it downloading, I upload it myself. <laughs> and now I'm stuck in virtual space as a desktop cat. <laughs> so I've been possessed by a mysterious cat spirit and I'm fulfilling her wish as her sixth life by showing her the true meaning of joy. So I'm here to show people what joy means to me and what joy can mean for them. I come from a little village that you should not go to in a forest a while away. I had to move from this little magitech core around my neck actually. Research, long nights, they all led to them no longer trusting me with them. But it's not that bad. Basically, I was a dragon that was orphaned. At a young age, I got picked up by a wandering samurai who trained me in the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat and sword fighting. A samurai of the Edo period made a deal with a kitsune who was dying, well, kitsune will say, and that she would grant his family great luck but they would all come out marked looking like the kitsune and so through the generations the lore was lost until it became a curse and so when my character was born her family gave her up to the yakuza so that they wouldn't be like shamed because they were like big political family and they didn't want to have a weird child so she grew up in the yakuza and was very naughty and caused a lot of problems and now works at a maid cafe to pay off all her debts one thing i'll probably never do again is <laughs> make somebody random in my chat my moderator Sorry, Lodi. One time when I was a kid, I ate pizza off the floor. It was like really old. It was like outside on the gravel. It didn't make me sick, weirdly enough. Like I didn't barf or anything, but I didn't get a tummy ache. But I, it was didn't taste very good. So I don't think I would do that again unless I was getting paid a lot of money. Like 50 bucks, hit me up. I'll eat whatever weird shit you want. I don't know. It's a pretty short list. There honestly isn't many things that I would not ever do again. Um, probably go kayaking with a few people because they tipped my boat over and uh, I went downstream. That was not fun. Huh, that is a that is a really good question. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I, I got nothing. My, my philosophy is fuck around and find out. You can't trust passerbys whenever you're traveling. I uh, had to get some unsavory uh, stains on my hand. But that's a story for another time. That'll come to light later. I will never drink a chia cherry drink again in my life. That is the gross. And I had a coworker who had a and they were like, here, try this. I was like, okay. And I tried it and I had to run to the bathroom because I couldn't even swallow it. I had to go to the bathroom to spit it out. It was so slimy and nasty. I just, mm -mm, nope, no, never again. Drop eighty dollars on prom. Literally, prom for my high school costed eighty dollars. It was not worth it going there because of how bad it was. It, it was not worth it. I will never cosplay Evie again. Even when surrounded by other evolutions in like a group cosplay, people thought I was a fox. 
Seriously, look out for EVs at conventions. Call them out. They will love it. <laughs> uh, I guess I will never be able to smoke as a teenager ever again. Huh. It's kind of sad thinking about it now. Good times. Good times. Ghetto. Sad times. But good. Not really. Not at all. I'm never trusting my chat again when it comes to meeting certain robots like Fisto. Ugh. I will never, ever again play horror games on stream. Do you know how terrifying it is when everybody in chat knows what's going on except for you? And they're not providing any help. No, 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 no. They just want to watch you suffer. They want to watch you scream and yell and be absolutely terrified and they will provide nothing in return. Look, listen, let me tell you, when I was a kid, my parents saw an awful lot of my search history already, so, um... Let's, uh, let's just let my boss see what kind of fucking weird shit I'm into. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll get a promotion or something. My boss, because, you know, if they ever have to disappear or anything, you know, nobody's gonna miss them, right? <laughs> well, I am my own boss. So, frankly, if anybody had to see it, boss would be a pretty good choice. Boss. But I'm the boss, so it doesn't matter. Definitely parents, I mean, no, no, wait, definitely boss, because I could just get a new job. I, I, I can't get new parents, I would just get a new job if they saw my intimacy. Plus, why the fuck do I care? What are they gonna do, fire me? Like, over my internet history? I, I don't give a fuck. I, I don't give a fuck. They don't pay me enough for me to give a single shitting fuck. Honestly, this is not a very hard question for me because I'd probably show my parents because they wouldn't understand it anyways. <laughs> I'd go with my parents. Far less legal repercussions and it's probably a bit easier to explain and they probably wouldn't know half of the words. I say parents just because like my boss is... My boss and my parents are both pretty chill, but my boss gives me money and I need money to not to be alive and I would rather have my parents see it that way if they don't, if they're not chill about it I'm not losing any money I'm just like okay you don't like me now that's chill bye bye boss boss real good real nice real nice and easy <laughs> just with your parents like you can't get away from your parents I mean you can but I mean like hey boss here's my internet history I fucking quit <laughs> I quit, baby. I'm out of here. See you later, sucker. Okay, hold on. So first of all, uh, I would have to choose my boss because I can't get rid of my mom. <laughs> I'm going to have to see her on Christmas, you know what I mean? <laughs> I have to develop a visual library, so I I will go to lot of but... <laughs> And a lot of like risque things. Okay, there I said it. I said it. I, I don't regret it right now. Probably um, my parents because they would not be shocked at all. What's one thing you wish you knew when you first started streaming? Scuff happens and there is absolutely bub kiss you can do about it. I wish I knew what the hell a bit rate was. <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> I'm not trying to come off as like a douchebag or something, but I mean, I don't know, like, just, I don't know, you learn as you go. I have no regrets. No, seriously, uh, the way I see it, you're going to be learning and making mistakes and learning, you know, as you go along anyway. So I just say get started and, uh, don't really worry about it too much. That I needed good internet? Because <laughs> my... My internet was terrible. I think it's really important to know that sometimes content creators will hit a plateau. You know, sometimes you'll just stay the same. You won't get more viewers, you won't get any less, and that's perfectly normal. There's a lot. When I first started, I feel like everything was everywhere. And because I was actively streaming, I didn't have time to put things together or like to build on the stream or the channel. Um, because I didn't have any artwork done, I didn't have emotes done. Bad shows, or entertainment in general, stuff that is quite obviously bad, 
but it's so bad that it's good. Trash TV. Definitely fucking trash TV. I have rewatched Flavor of Love so many times, it's not even funny. And watching Jerry Springer and that shit, it's- I don't know, I think it's like just watching people fucking uh, going crazy and like having like weird ass shit going on in their lives, even though most of it's staged. For example, a lot of people bash on country music that I know, but I personally love country music. I used to hate it, now I love it. Reading a ridiculous amount of webtoons, I kind of also like, uh, like, saucy YA books. <laughs> not, not to be, like, confused with, like, erotica or anything crazy like that. Just, like, with, like, you know, like, a little thought. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like, rom com fancy YA books. I'm sorry, I had to find out this way. Laying in bed, reading very smutty manga. Like, not like things that are like full on not safe for work, but like kind of borderline, you know, kind of. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, especially if they're full of romance. And I. I like isekai anime. I don't care how trash they are, I will fucking watch it. If it's an isekai anime, I will watch it. I don't, I don't know why, but I know it's like junk food. I know it's not very good, but for some reason I just keep eating it and I love it. Ooh, my guilty pleasure is always cheesecake. I'm lactose intolerant, like severely lactose intolerant, like will get sick if I eat any sort of cheese lactose intolerant. But if you put a cheesecake in front of me, my God, that thing is delicious and I will eat it and I will enjoy it. Cheetos and alcohol. Hmm, I have to say hot sauce on pizza. A lot of people find it weird, but it's so good. Um, what's my guilty pleasure? Well, honestly, it's always been food. <laughs> Oh, that and um, also I buy too many games when they're on sale. <laughs> I think that should be rather obvious. I mean, fucking cute, bruh. <laughs> I'm cute, fuck, bruh. Made outfit. Duh. What other option do I have there? That's such an easy one. I would rather have an obnoxious four minute sound alert to annoy the hell out of everyone. But I guess for the plebeians in the audience a maid outfit would be better i already have the maid outfit redeem <laughs> yeah i'm a neko maid gremlin flamey which is my true final form <laughs> would you rather have an obnoxious four minute sound alert or a maid outfit redeem well i'm already a maid outfit and i actually almost already have a four minute sound alert so i guess yolo let's do both <laughs> <laughs> There's no problem at all. Made outfit. <laughs> it's easier than a than a four minute sound. Knowing me, it would just be four straight minutes of fucking screaming, and I already have enough ridiculous shit, so I'd probably do the outfit because that's that's NBD. Not a big deal. I would much rather have a made outfit redeem. I'd probably even have multiple for different styles of made outfits if I could get around to making them all. I would do a made outfit redeem. I would legit. Like, I would even go all the way out to, like, do it, make it a photo shoot. <laughs> I like visual pleasure. I actually am not a big fan of, like, annoying sounds at all. I'd rather wear a maid outfit on stream than listen to four minutes of the most obnoxious sound. It would probably ruin my stream. <laughs> I would love to be able to draw and rig uh, an alternate costume for myself, and I think I can make a really cute maid outfit one. Uh, as for the obnoxious four minute sound alert, who would do that? That's the kind of thing that turns people away I would, uh, I would expect. Honestly, a maid outfit redeem. Just because I think I can do worse than the obnoxious sound alert, and if I can just squeak my way into their chat anyway, it would be useless. Made Alpha Redeem already have a very uh, obnoxious sound alert, which is my sound alert. It's already like a minute long, and Made Alpha Redeem, I can make it as high as I want to, so I definitely not. Well, honestly, I I admit I don't really pay a lot of attention to that kind of stuff. The only real thing I get that comes to mind that I even uh, took part in was the one where you 
basically reveal all of your inspirations for your model. I thought that was a lot of fun, and it was a lot of fun showing where like my ideas came from for the way I look now. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't keep up with trends very often. I try to stay off of Twitter for my own mental health and all. <laughs> Twitter sucks, bro, but... Bold of you to assume I have any idea what went on last year. I showed up, did my own thing, and then I peaced out for four months. This is the first time I've been in VTuber form since, like, September of last year. Ooh, 2022. I thought it was maybe the hot tub of the feet, but I think those are 2021. Hmm. You know what? I think, honestly, there wasn't just one single memorable trade uh, trend because there was, like, the booba trend was all the time, and then we had the feet trend, we had the feet up on the table. That might have been 2021, but I think it was 2022, the beginning of it. Honestly, I remember I was on Twitter and I saw this weird trend, it was the hashtag booba. And I was like, why? And I just, on my timeline, I just kept seeing booba and I'm like, but why? <laughs> And like, I feel like there's so many other trends, but I feel like this is the most memorable one for me because it was just like, why? I'm gonna say the VTuber versus IRL trend, that was pretty cool. Um, it was pretty sweet to see people like compare their real selves and like their, you know, their VTuber selves. And it was just very cute and um, a lot of pretty people. I have not seen a single ugly VTuber and I'm just a bit straight facts. I didn't look at it too much. I think the VTuber versus IRL one was a pretty popular one. Uh, and for some reason... <laughs> I'm not gonna say the other one simply because I'm not sure whether... I I'm just not gonna say it. But I think the VTuber versus IRL was like a pretty big one that I saw quite a bit. Minecraft. I haven't streamed Minecraft. <laughs> Elden Ring. Uh... Guilty Gear Strive. I fight a lot. I fight people. I grab them. Wait, wait a minute. Apex. I honestly just really enjoy Apex. It's just a lot of energy. It's fun with friends. And it's fun to play with my audience. Any game that makes you squeal like a girl. Because it makes you squeal like a girl. For me, it's House Flipper. I don't know why, it's just a zen game for me, but people seem to really like to watch it. And I like designing houses and putting them together, so I mean like, hey, your next VTuber real estate agent right here. No, the best game to stream is Portal 2, and I will tell you why. Portal 2 is the greatest game on the face of this planet Earth, and there will never be a game better than Portal 2 because Portal 2 is what? Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I found that Minecraft seems to be the one that I most enjoy streaming, but that's probably just because I enjoy Minecraft. <laughs> so probably any game you really enjoy and are really passionate about is one of the best games to stream. Otherwise, uh, Gartic Phone is also very fun. I think that the best is probably whatever you have the most fun playing and what your viewers kind of enjoy watching you play the most. I guess it's like a mutual um, enjoyment thing is probably what I would say is like the best that's mutually enjoyed. Uh, and then eight, what is the best game to stream and why? It's very subjective and it depends on the person and the personality type and all that sort of shit. So I think it really depends on what the streamer themselves enjoy. It also depends on like what type of content or games you like to play. In my opinion, it's a game that you're super passionate about. It's also important though to keep in mind that it has to be a game that's not oversaturated but also has a decent following because you don't want, you know, nobody to be able to find you. Um, but yeah, a game you're super passionate about because it's, it'd be easy for you to talk about it and really get into it and... I personally really like Grand Theft Auto Roleplay. Um, <laughs> it's so much fun and it's so interactive and like if I if there's nobody chatting which sometimes I feel awkward whenever nobody chats but I'm sure everybody does sometimes with the Grand Theft Auto roleplay I don't feel like I have that because I feel like I can get into the zone with uh, my character Violia <laughs> it's a lot of fun well you see the nacho cheese doesn't move 
and doesn't have a brain of its own. The worms, they're all together, they're all sticky and slimy and moving around each other and they can crawl up your legs, but the nacho cheese is just like a little bit sticky and cheesy and then you can wash it off. This isn't even really a question, just nacho cheese. Delicious nacho cheese. All right, this question is fucking disgusting. Uh, both answers fucking suck. I'm choosing nachos. I'm not going to delve into how awful this is, but uh, yeah. Uh, what the fuck? It's disgusting. Because I would significantly rather lick cheese off my fingers than deal with the aftermath of stepping in worms. <laughs> I would rather shit in my hands and clap than stick my feet in a bucket of worms. I would rather slather uh, honey on my ass and stick it near an anthill than put my feet or any part of my body. Wait a minute. No, that was an expression. I don't like bugs. Uh -uh, I don't like bugs. I'd rather do anything than be anywhere near bugs. I'd rather, I would stick my arm into nacho cheese. I'd stick it into acid. I would do anything before going near fucking bugs. You know, sticking your feet in a bucket of worms might be kind of nice if you just look past the part of it being worms. <laughs> About it. <laughs> it depends. Okay, if it's boiling hot vat um, nacho cheese, I would go with a bucket of worms. But if we're just talking regular nacho cheese, now I'm sticking my hand in there and you know, pull that out, lick that up, maybe you know, toss it into nachos. In a bucket of worms or stick your arm into a vat of nacho cheese? Bruh. Bruh. I already got nacho cheese on my arms already. Can't you see that? I got nacho cheese everywhere. Nacho cheese here, nacho cheese there. My arms have nacho cheese already on them. <laughs> well, since I've done both, stick my feet in a bucket of worms because it isn't as bad as it sounds. It's just cold. <laughs> nacho cheese takes forever to get out of your hair and your clothes and your fingernails. It's, oh, it's so awful. So yeah, worms, 100% worms all the time. I feed in a bucket of worms, I guess. I I grew up in the forest, so it's not as bad, but it's still not pleasant. I mean, I guess they'll get the dirt off your feet. I would rather stick my hands into cheese, because guess what? I get myself some chips and then dunk my hands into those chips, and voila, I have nacho and cheese, and then so I can um num 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 easy. Just eat the cheese off my hands, but worms! My feet, oh, it's gonna feel disgusting for days. It's gonna feel like I'm walking on worms <laughs> every time now. It's gonna be like some PTSD, you know? Why do you rather stick your feet in a bucket of, of worms? Ugh. I always <laughs> stick your arm into a vat of nacho cheese. I choose cheese. Heck yeah, you can slab it all over your arm and have a snack for later. <laughs>